Hello everyone, this is Aida Qolami from Agrimet Sub Research Company and in today's video I'm going to show you subtraction formula in Excel. So there's no such a thing in Excel. There is no built-in subtraction formula in Excel and you should uh, do, um, do it all manually. So I know, I know we have functions for uh, adding up numbers for uh, making the average uh, we can count numbers like with uh, using um, the built-in function we can find the maximum minimum um, I, I know but there is no subtraction formula and at the same time it's so easy to subtract two numbers in Excel you just want to Put any call mark, select the first number, and then put a minus uh, mark, and select the second number that you want to subtract. So click enter, and that's the difference, and that's the subtraction, and that's so easy. Um, here I want to have the subtraction for all those numbers, and I don't have to like above input the the same fun and uh, the same um calculations of up again and again and just the 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 thing that i have to do is to copy when when the sign appears i want to copy the cell to the others and you can see that the differences of these numbers are here for me and the other uh way to do the subtraction that i have explained in my uh, other videos is to make a, a absolute reference cell so that's when you want to let's say you want to make the subtraction of all these numbers to just one of them so uh, let's highlight it i want to have the subtraction of all this with this i want to have the differences of all this with this one what i will do here is to use a reference uh, an absolute reference cell what i mean by that is that i first select the first one then put a minus one a uh, minus sign and when i select the second um cell i put dollars sign in these places i click enter and when I copy it to all the cells, you can see that these are all, um, you know, calculated by this one. And it's not, it's not the relative reference, so it's not moving. So the red cell is not moving. It's uh, fixed in its place. So that's it for today's video. I hope you learned something new. Please don't forget to give this video a thumb up and subscribe to Agnes channel. I will see you in the next video and bye.